Welcome back to another episode of Belief in Fatherhood and can we clap it up for 1 million subscribers? I'm so excited. I'm going to be celebrating this forever. This is amazing. This is a huge accomplishment. Um, a lot of people, I don't know, man, it's YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like it's where we started. It's everything. And so my family, um, super excited about, uh, having 1 million subscribers. Actually, the kids didn't even understand it. My wife is overwhelmed with excitement. I am super excited and pre appreciative. Um, but I know how people can get like stagnant, like, oh my gosh, I got there, and now I'm going to just chill. Like, I ain't doing that. We got momentum. We got employees. We got dreams. We got passions. We got goals. We're going to hit those. We're, we're going to make sure we're, 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 we're still running our time well and all that stuff. So, I do want to acknowledge the fact that we got 1 million subscribers, but I don't want to stop the progression of everything that's happening. You guys saw a whole tour of the studio, but you didn't get to see Yvette's tour. You didn't see Yvette's office. And you guys are probably like, what is going on with Yvette? Why does she have an office? What is she doing in her office? And I had to assist a little bit, but she's going to tell you right now. So let's just go ahead and knock on her door and see what's happening at Yvette's office. Welcome, Black, and thank you guys so much for subscribing and being part of our journey. Love y'all. Oh, hey, come on in. Welcome to my office. Come on in. I'd love to show you around um, the place. Here we have the couch. <laughs> when I um, was thinking about how I wanted to design the office, first of all, Glenn was coaching me on the fact that it's a set. It's not just an office, but it's a set. And so um, I understood that, but I also know myself. And so I wanted it to feel homey. What is this couch? What is it, mm -hmm. Just sitting there being a couch. <laughs> being a couch. I knew I wanted a couch. And this wall that we have here. So I had a friend come and do her thing, and I love how it turned out. It's just abstract um, shapes. It's actually not abstract shapes. It's circles and semicircles and rectangles. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. I love it. The colors are exactly me, and I love it. If you've been rocking with me for a while, um, this sign was in on my old set of Yvette Unplugged when I was recording my podcast. I do intend to record my podcast in here. Um, I've got a nifty little uh, table that goes up like so, so that when I'm tired of working on my desk, I can bring my laptop over here and work here. And what I really love about this particular angle is that when I look up, there is a wall of women who are inspiring to me. Um, because of their work ethic or their contributions to the world or their drive or their beauty. Actually, all of them have something um, that is kind of like, okay, but if they did it, you can do it. Or like, they left a mark, you can leave a mark. They have been empowering black women, women um, for decades, you can do it too. But I love this angle because of that wall. And then I got a couple different accent chairs here. Um, I've been trying to hang curtains up on this wall, but it's a cement wall, so I have had, had trouble getting the rod to stay up once the curtains are on. It always falls down. So I don't know what's gonna go on here. And, and then we have my desk over here. Um, Glenn and I got a new Rodecaster Pro for the marriage podcast, and so I got the old one. I can now record at my desk. Hello, my name is Mrs. Melanie. No, hello, my name is Yvette, and I am, I don't know how I'm gonna introduce my podcast, actually. <laughs> but yes, this is my desk. I'm still working on the shelves. That plant is probably not gonna make it there, um, but I like what's coming, how it's coming together. Another cool thing about this office is that I have this beautiful situation that my husband built for me where I can plug this up. It becomes a whole situation. Um, 
I can record here at my desk. I can record here at these chairs. I can record in front of this wall. I can record in, at the couch. It's like a whole situation. And I love it. So I, I don't know if we can link the YouTube video that had like instructions for how to build this, but it's definitely a nifty contraption. And I don't think it was like too expensive. I really enjoy this little C table that I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I don't like shoes. I like to be barefoot when I'm in a building or whatever. It doesn't matter where I am. I just kind of like to be barefoot. And Glenn was like, you've been walking around here barefoot. Can you get some house slippers or something? So I got these cute, oh, these cute um, house slippers for the office that I keep here. So I come in, sit down, take off my shoes, place them there, and then put on my little cute um, sand or whatever you want to call these. And yeah, I just like this little space. I need some compartments or like baskets that will fit here. I don't know what I want to do with this space, so if you guys have any ideas, <laughs> let me know. But can we talk about how this plant is thriving? It's thriving, right? This leaf, let's ignore it, but everything else, this is one plant that is doing well in my office. Okay, so when we moved into this office, there was no mirror in the whole space, not even in the bathrooms. So that was one of the first things that I wanted to get because I was like, I am not about to be around here with a booger hanging on my nose, my hair going crazy that way and the other way. And none of these guys tell me because they don't care. They don't care. They just let me walk around looking a hot mess. So I got this mirror and I'm really in love with it. At first I had like a smaller one, but then a friend came and she's like, don't you want to see your whole body? And I was like, yeah. So I got this and I'm really liking this little space with my little coat rack situation. Yeah, it's a vibe. I'm directing Yvette's <laughs> office tour the end. She's flipping me off right now. <laughs> that was the middle finger you used. I'm in here, we're about to get this last shot. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for joining me on my office tour. I feel extremely blessed to even have four walls in this entire space. And it's also a really beautiful thing to have witnessed um, my husband from the garage to here. Uh, to be alone for that journey, that transformation, for all of that has just been a tremendous blessing. And to even find, um, I don't know, like to be a part of it is just, I count it all joy. Okay, so before I let y'all go, I want you to know, because people are probably like, what the heck does Yvette even need a whole office for? And the truth of the matter is, is like, it's so interesting because the other day I was like, man, I get it now. Because at home, I do try to like do stuff at home when I'm there with the kids, but it's like someone's always pulling for my attention. Even when I say, hey guys, I'm gonna go in this space and I'm gonna focus, please leave me alone, watch TV, play outside, do whatever, but just leave me alone, they don't listen. And when Glenn was working in the garage, when he was working from the home, I was one of them. I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> and so it's nice to be able to like have a place where I can come and I can close the door and I can focus my attention on getting things done. And so in this office, I work on my weekly emails, which I do send out every week. Um, if you know, maybe you do or do not know, but I have taken a break from Instagram, which I can get into that later, for the year of 2022. And um, as a result of that, I wanted to stay engaged with my followers there in that space. So I set up a weekly email where I give updates and just kind of share my thoughts on life and reflections, whatever it is. If that is something that is interesting to you, then I would definitely encourage you to sign up at the link below um, to be a part of my uh, email list. You can also go to evethenry.com and you will find me there as well. Um, in this office, I do that. In this office, I will be recording my podcast. Um, I just... What's the name of it? Oh. <laughs> Yvette Unplugged. Um, I have 
taking a break from that, but I'm really excited to start recording that again and to even just have the space to record it. Um, in this space, I also plan our concepts for How Married Are You? Glenn and I have a podcast called How Married Are You? So here is where I plan some of those things. We are also about to start creating an e-course, which is super exciting, and I will be spending a lot of time in here working on that as well. What's um, the e-course about? Oh, we're going to tell? I literally erased the whiteboard because I didn't want them to see it. Can we give them like just a little glimpse, like, I, like what they can expect? Okay. Glenn and I exist such that we share what we're growing through so that people who are coming up behind us aren't caught off guard. I feel like when we entered into adulthood, into marriage, into parenthood, there were a lot of things that kind of caught us off guard, like, wait, what? This is something that we have to deal with. And so we want to do the same thing for people who are going to get married. So before you get married, they have things called premarital counseling, whatever. They kind of think of it as your auntie and uncle. Um, no. Yeah? I think we're that old. Think. Think of it as your favorite auntie and uncle telling you all, spilling all the tea about what you need to know before you get married, before you say, I do. Before you get to the altar, this is what we want you to know. Um, there's going to be a lot of great things coming out of this office. I plan on planning retreats and all the things. Um, and so I'm so glad that y'all got to see my space and see what I'm working with. And sometimes y'all, I just sit in here. I turn on my diffuser. Can you see it? I turn on my diffuser and I just look. <laughs> because it's the first moment that my brain can just be quieted. So yeah, thanks for coming y'all. I'll talk to you later. Raya said he wants to get his hair cut all the way off. Raya. Right what? We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, okay? What? We're gonna do it. Whatever, I give up. All right.